What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and I'm back. So I just finished about a 20 day traveling journey. I actually went to Romania, Bucharest, then from there to Budapest and Vienna, Slovakia, and I finished up in Prague. Met a couple of fans, so shout out to Reich in Romania. But anyways, you know, I had a great journey guys and I'm back, I'm gonna be posting lots of videos. And starting with this one, I know it's a little bit late. You know, a lot of people already know about this, but for the people that don't, there's actually a pretty severe bug going around and this is a text message bug which will actually crash any device you send this text message to. Now this is only for iPhones, it's not effective on any Android phones and in this video I'm going to show you how to do that, how to replicate it and crash any phone, any iPhone that you send a text message to. Just as simple as that, it'll respring the device and whatever that person was doing, it'll crash it and they'll lose the progress. Now it's very hard to actually prevent it from happening but I'm going to show you guys in this video how to fix it so I know a lot of people that are getting this bug, uh, people are sending it to them, spamming them, their text message app won't open. So I'm gonna show you how to replicate this bug, how to crash somebody's phone, and if your phone gets crashed and your text message app doesn't open, I'm gonna show you guys how to open that up. And uh, right off the bat, I just wanna show you guys my messaging application is not opening because of this. I'm on the latest iOS 8.3 firmware, and Apple has actually went out and released a public note that they are aware of this bug. It's actually really big, it's been around for a while, I can't believe it exists. What it basically is is Arabic text that the iPhone can't comprehend for whatever reason and it just crashes it. It's so crazy. I mean, you could send it to anyone and it'll crash. I actually tried using it inside of my Snapchat application and it would crash. My friend of mine actually sent me the message inside of a conversation in Snapchat and it would not open that conversation ever. It just crash Snapchat permanently. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and fix my messaging application real quick so I could actually show you this, but I'll be right back. All right, guys. So you're ready for this it's as simple as this all it is is this text message right here so all you guys need to do to crash anybody's phone is go ahead and copy this message I will have it down below in the description make sure not to get the parentheses they're actually there just to show the actual message so once you get this copied onto your iPhone or you can actually send it from a computer which I'm doing as long as you send it to any iPhone iPod or iPad it will respring their device so to begin basically just find a target who uses an iPhone Go ahead and copy and paste that text inside of the character field right here and it won't crash your device as long as you're sending it but whoops there you go so it will look just like that and when you send it it will crash the other person's device so I have it set up on my computer I'm going to go ahead and paste it into here into the iMessage and I'm going to go ahead and send it onto this phone right here and watch this. So this will not work if you guys are in the conversation thread. You actually need to exit out to an overview of all messages or go anywhere else, do anything else. It will not work as long as you're reading the thread. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and click send and watch this. As soon as my iPhone gets that message, boom, it just respring's and this happens every single time. So imagine how frustrating this can be if people are spamming you and nonstop it just keeps going and respringing over and over and over. Now there is a big side effect to this. It seems harmless, but as you guys know, the messaging application can crash. So if I actually try to go back to all my messages, for example, it just crashes. For some people, you just click on it and it doesn't even open, it just crashes right away. And there's one very, very simple fix to this. So go into your photos and select a photo to send to somebody. So I'm just gonna use a screenshot from my Apple Watch. Go ahead and select, go ahead and put in a contact. So this could be literally anybody. I'm gonna go ahead and put in spammer and let's go ahead and click send. So as long as you click send on that, you can go back in and the app will open up regularly. As you can see, I actually can get into all my messages right there. So super cool, very functional, very easy way to fix this. However, if you guys are being spammed, guys, it's very hard to actually stop. You can actually just block someone in here. You can actually block them using this eye over here and go ahead and block this caller. So very simple, very effective to do that. But in the meantime, Apple has you know sent out a message that they are working on this and iOS 8.4 is the firmware that we will be released in order to fix this issue. So guys, that's pretty much it. Really fun little glitch right there. I know a lot of people know about this, but again, I just wanted to share for those of you guys that didn't, and I find this very amusing. Anyways, I will have an update for you guys tomorrow. Sorry for the long delay. It was a much needed vacation, but I will be posting regularly now, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it did help you with a little glitch. If people are spamming you, it will help you get back into that messaging application. So have a great day, guys. Enjoy this glitch responsibly. Peace.